I really figured you for a uh, for a boxers guy. Yeah, I, I've been trying it out. It's like a, a cotton blend. It's pretty pretty breathable. Yeah, it is. It gives you a lot more room in between. Yeah, there. yeah. Uh, I think we should just start. Oh, okay. Hello, and welcome back to the uh, to the new t to Yukon Tonight Show. My name is Tony Tyson. I'm your host tonight. I'm Brian Higgins, your co-host. And here's what's in the news this week. This week, a town in Alberta, Canada, that has been dry since 1903, voted against a bill that would allow liquor sales in the town. The town was last seen asking if there was any soda at this party before her going home early to study. A woman in the Midwest is upset with Chipotle after their lack of changing stations caused her to have to change her baby's diaper in the middle of the restaurant. The story comes as a shock because if there's any, anywhere that should have be, be prepared for the kind of emergency, it's Chipotle. This week it was announced that Adam Sandler would produce and star in four movies available exclusively on Netflix. That's right, Adam Sandler and Netflix are teaming up to bring you 38 minutes of comedy. Gossip Girl actress Blake Lively has announced that she is pregnant, or at least that's what Dan heard Chuck say to Blair. This week, a British man was arrested after killing his friend who had poked that man's wife on Facebook. If you think that's bad, you should have seen what he did to the aunt who keeps commenting on all of his pictures. NASA announced this week that it was considering hibernation as a way to send astronauts to Mars. They would likely use a, a medically induced stasis called torpor to put these astronauts in a deep sleep but they'll probably just end up showing them the new Adam Sandler movies. This week, an Englishman pooped in the middle of his city council building in protest of discrimination against dwarves. Council members remarked that the man was, quote, not carrying himself in a civilized way and that he could have at least lit a candle. A Michigan supermarket worker has been fired and arrested for repeatedly hugging customers. The customers said the hugging was fine, but they didn't need the nude photographs. A hiker discovered an abandoned town in the middle of Tennessee's Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Tennessee Tourism Board already advertising the ghost as the only thing creepier than our genetic history. A Virgin Airways passenger tried to escape out of the plane's emergency exit after being caught pleasuring himself in the middle of the bathroom. Proving that death is preferable is a prefer preferable alternative to being caught pleasuring yourself in an airplane bathroom. Scientists at the University of Rochester invented a real-life cloaking device that they claim can be made at home for under $100. We really look forward to seeing how this vice can be utilized in everyday life, said perverts. An Oregon man recently broke the record for the world's largest squash. The only thing more exciting would have been any other vegetable. A North Carolina school district put four schools on lockdown this week after a teacher who was dressed up for a Talk Like a Pirate Day caused a cafeteria worker to call the authorities. In the workers' defense, we all know about the problems North Carolina has been having with pirate gangs. A drone in Syria this week captured images of what is believed to be an ISIS militant having sex with a donkey. And you thought hazing it was bad in college. In a recent interview with Oprah Winfrey, actress Raven Simone said she is sick of being labeled as both a lesbian and an African American. That was a quote from asexual Chinese actress Raven Simone. A high school in North Dakota banned yoga pants after complaints that male students and teachers were getting distracted in class. When reached for comment, one student said, what? Rumors are swirling that North Korean President Kim Jong-un is losing political power in his country, possibly due to his failing health, which contradicts North Korean reports that Kim Jong-un has cured Ebola and won the World Series again. The federal government is undertaking a four-year $500,000 study to determine why obese teenage girls have a hard time getting dates. That's right, the U.S. government is spending half a million dollars to find out that high school students are terrible. Several Harvard scientists argued this week that Pluto should be reconsidered as a planet. At press time, Pluto, Pluto reported that it just didn't know who it was anymore and that it just wanted to listen to Coldplay in its room for a while. Swimmer Michael Phelps was recently charged with a DUI and disciplined accordingly by USA Swimming. When asked if this incident would affect his sponsorship with Subway, Phelps said, God, I hope so. The investigation into NFL player Adrian Peterson's alleged child abuse has revealed that he used money from his charity organization to fund an orgy for him and his underage brother. Peterson has received increased media flack for this, while his brother has received lots of high fives. The investigation also shockingly revealed that Peterson has six illegitimate children. While Peterson's future in the NFL, in the NFL remains questionable, he does have a future in the greatest episode of Maury ever. 89-year-old World War II veteran Andrew Haynes was given a traditional Viking funeral by the Coast Guard this week. His remains were ignited and set out to sea, confirming that everyone from World War II is cooler than will ever be. Scientists at the University of Southern Denmark have developed a crystal that could potentially help users breathe underwater. To any curious comic book fans, no, this doesn't make Aquaman cool. 
A recent study found that Norway's reindeer population is experiencing higher radioactive, radio radioactivity levels than normal. The radiation levels are likely caused by fallout from the 1986 Chernobyl disaster and Santa's recent switch to nuclear power. A Slovakian company announced that it would soon unveil a prototype for a flying car called Air Mobile. Slovakia, the only nation that cares about making, ba making Back to the Future 2 a reality. Russian President Vladimir Putin turned 62 this week and was honored with a series of paintings depicting him as the Greek demigod Hercules. The paintings were a gift from mysterious art patron Vladimir Vudin. A four-year-old in Delaware accidentally brought in her mother's heroin to daycare and started distributing it to fellow classmates. When asked about the incident, the four-year-old said, I didn't choose this life. It chose me. Well, that's it for news this week. Stay tuned for more Yukon Tonight Show. I have something I want to tell you. So do I. Really? You go first. No, you go ahead. Okay. Well, you know, we've been dating for a while now. It's only been two months. Yeah, I know, but I really just want to tell you that I think I'm in love with you. I met someone else. What? Who? We have so much in common. He comforts me when I'm lonely at night. He knows all my favorite TV shows. And his commercials are hilarious. He's the guy for me. I'm in love with him. I love you. To the, uh, to the Yukon Tonight Show with me, Tony Tyson. Brian Higgins. And our guest of tonight is student uh, Isaac Pactor. Isaac, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Isaac, tell us a little about yourself. You're a student here. What's your major? What year are you? So I'm a junior, mm -hmm. and I am a physics major. Physics major. Wow, that's, that's pretty interesting. So we heard that you're casting this new movie. Can you tell us about that, how, how that happened? Yeah, so um, it was very out of character for me. Uh, mm -hmm. I just recently had started getting interested in acting and I looked up some open casting calls online and I found one that the description of the character mm -hmm. sounded kind of like me and I was like, I think I can do that. So I sent in an audition tape and eventually I heard back from the director and I got a call back and um, I didn't get the lead role but he liked me so much that he decided he was going to put me in his film anyways. Oh, that's great. Like, so what was the, what's the name of the movie? So the film is called Trent. Trent, okay, what's it about? It's about, um, well, it's sort of a psychological thriller slash horror film, and it's about a uh, college student named Trent who is undergoing a lot of stress and um, has some mental illness issues, and that sort of all uh, escalates during the film, and we get to really see some some crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. It's it's really interesting. It's examines mental illness, but also has some elements of sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure Brian has some more questions <coughs> on you for that. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Oh, if I was a tree, I would be a willow tree because I just think they look cool. And if anything, I just want to look cool. That's a good answer. That's what it's all about. And that's also my favorite type, type of tree. Yeah, so it tells a lot about his acting philosophy yes, right I there and how, how he is as a person. Thank you, Brian. That's very important that we all know what type of tree that Isaac would be in the future. Yeah. <laughs> or right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's a movie with us. 
No, if, I guess we can get back to it. Yeah, whatever. Okay. All right. So about the movie, um, what can you tell us about it so far? What can, what, what can you reveal to the public? About, what, like, who are, who are you in the movie? Okay, so my character is Wesley, and it's a um, supporting role. Uh, I can't tell you too much more besides um, his name, because um, if I told you what he did, that would ruin that the would movie. Ruin the movie, yeah. But uh, uh, definitely, you'll you'll have to watch it when it comes out to see. Awesome. What my character is all about. And when when are you going to be uh, filming this? So the filming is taking place this fall, um, in October and November, and then it will be submitted to music festivals in 2015, and then after. It, wow, I said music festivals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Film, I was going to ask him about that one. I mean, <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. It'll, <laughs> it'll be submitted to film festivals in 2015, <laughs> and uh, after it finishes with the yeah. film festivals, then it'll be available for other people to watch. Oh, cool. So. Now, Isaac, sitting next to you, I can't but smell this a sweet aroma. What What do you put in your hair? Is it Garnier Fructis? What is that? <laughs> I actually, um, I'm, I don't even know the name of it. It's this, like, cream stuff that you put in your hair, and it makes it look nice, and it smells good. But the, the smell you smell is actually a... Um, I am at a loss for words. Do you wear cologne for us? I wore cologne just for oh, you guys wow. because first step to confidence mm -hmm. is smelling good. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why I Smelling good and looking cool. That's Absolutely. what it's all about, kids. Remember, your confidence comes from your appearance. Never forget. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> it's not about what's on the inside. <laughs> like that matters, really. No. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so Go Isaac. Ahead. What are your hopes and dreams? Um, my hope is to be happy. My dream is to travel through time and space on a flying dragon. Interesting. What is the name of this alleged flying dragon? Um, I haven't thought of a name yet. Wow, but that's quite a dream you got there. <laughs> but he, he's magical. Oh, oh. Uh, so hypothetical question. Let's say this movie is a huge hit and your performance particularly stands out and you start blowing up and getting getting famous. Is there anyone at all in your life that you would maybe like take care of and like bring up with you and you like friends you've been like you've known since maybe like ninth grade or something? Well, maybe someone who's given you your yeah. first television yeah, appearance. Yeah, maybe, I maybe mean, someone like that. Um, or anyone in particular? Yeah. Um, two people. It just neither of those descriptions really ring a bell. I'd I'd probably uh, I mean I'd help some people out, but Brian, I off the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any idea of like which which uh, film festivals this is going to be submitted into? I I do not. I'm not well informed. Yeah. There's um. You don't look well informed. Thank um, you, Brian. Some of them have actually already passed. I'm I'm one of those people who actually like I paid I read a lot about like film festivals mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, Toronto is kind of, Toronto usually goes on in like in the spring in January and whatnot. Jan Toronto, um, I forget what the one in Tribeca is in Tribeca Film Festival. That's in New York. That's usually in the spring also. But those are like the really big ones that you guys that you guys might be applying to. And I mean, since I recommended those, I might be in the movie now. <laughs> just saying, but I'm uh, just throwing that out there. <laughs> but like, yeah, there's, 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 there's always film festivals going on throughout the entire year. So like, really, I feel like you guys have that flexibility where you can apply to as many as you want. It's just from what I've heard, from what I've read about the, from what I've read about this, you guys have to. It's a really, it's just a very long, arduous pro process for you mm -hmm. to get through to get into each film festivals. But like, once you get in, it's just, just being in them is just like a huge honor overall, which is awesome for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited and. Mm -hmm. Um, the director of the film, Curtis Salt, he has two previous films. Um, the last one actually won two uh, awards in different international film festivals. That's awesome. And um, I know that he is very talented and mm -hmm. is working very hard, and our cast is very talented, and I'm really excited to see what will happen. Now, um, how is this project funded? So it's actually being funded through an Indiegogo campaign. Okay. 
So if you're interested in it, you can check out our Indiegogo website, and there's a whole bunch of perks, like cast members will give shout-outs to people who donate. Really? And um, you can check out our pitch video and learn more about the film through that. What, what, what kind of shout-outs would you give if I donated <laughs> money? Brian, I would give you a very special shout-out. Um, but I, I wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. Okay, okay. Of course not, of course not. So it's, a, it's an Indiegogo campaign. What's the, do you know, like, what's the website? Is it just Indiegogo.com, or how would that work? So it's Indiegogo dot whatever <laughs> Indiegogo's <laughs> uh, addresses, and then with a bunch of stuff afterwards. But um, if you just Google Indiegogo Trent, mm -hmm. it should show up. In fact, the film was trending um, on Indiegogo a couple times. Um, so it's, it's definitely getting some exposure. Mm. And that's definitely making people even more excited. So. Cool. Right. And you had no acting experience before this, right? No, I did not. Um, in fact, there was about 500 people who submitted audition videos. 40 were called back. And out of the 40 called back, I was the only one with absolutely no experience, which is very intimidating. Yes, <laughs> I can imagine. Right. Uh, that's awesome. Well, Isaac, thanks for being on the thanks. show. It was really great having thanks you. Thanks for having me. Um, thanks, 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 thank you for being on the show. It's really great. Thank you. All right, now. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to end it again. Shit. <laughs> that's a good ending. <laughs> Isaac Baxter is <laughs> in the movie Trent, and eventually it'll come out, so you should watch it, maybe. It might be good. I don't know. It'll be good. Thanks for stopping by and watching Thanks. the UConn Tonight Show. Stay in school. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> I lost my words again. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Should we, like, do an actual... I was up in my head for everything I said. You tryna make your ass fall off Hella thick, I wanna smash them all now Speed up, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal And you already Speed know up. me, S A T E. Gas pedal, look, gas pedal We cut the legs off of our pants We watch you into the ocean Sit back and wait through the daylight Sit back and wait through the daylight Tonight's show. I'm your host, Tony Tyson. Here with me, my co host, Brian Higgins. And our guest today, Gladys LaFlores. From Seminar Energy and Exercise Club. So, Sex Club. Sex, sex club. club, yes. Oh, okay. All right. So, I mean, I can find anyone on campus to have sex with me, but you guys have an entire club for it. Yes, we do. Oh. <laughs> but um, that's not what it stands for, right? No, this club um, was named just to catch people's attention. So it's stamina, um, energy, and exercise. The purpose of our club is not about making the dining hall or houses. And we do uh, weekly workouts. And we have them here in the field house. And then we teach them different, simple, challenging workouts that they can use in their houses or in the dorm, wherever they want to. Cool. So uh, what kind of workouts would you do? Um, it's normally body weight exercises. So let's say like squats and jumping jacks and burpees and push-ups and different variations of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> so is it like, do you guys try to go for like the high intensity interval training stuff or what is like the, your guys like 
quote unquote style for them? Yeah, you know? so it really depends on what people prefer to do because we have meetings every Monday, well, bi weekly on Mondays at 5. Where is it? So here in the Student Union, room 324. And then we talk about, we talk about different nutritional topics and we ask them, what kind of topics are you guys interested in? What you have doubts with? Let's say it's like gaining muscle mass or losing weight or just protein intake, anything like that. And we also ask them about the kind of workouts they're interested in, in doing. So we, one of our executive member um, per, pe person, yeah, um, he is an exercise science major and he puts up the workouts. So he would do high interval training some days, then we would do strengthening or we would do balancing. Yeah. yeah okay, awesome, awesome. So you guys set these plans, are they just like week, like the nutritional plans, for example, are they weekly plans or is it just like a month yeah. plan? How does that work? How often do you guys do it? Um, do what? Specific. Meetings. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as I said before, it's bi-weekly on Mondays at 5 p.m. in the Student Union room 324. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we covered different nutrition topics. Last time we had a uh, sex bingo. I mean, so we had sex <laughs> topics and we also had nutrition facts and we had exercise facts. And then we would just talk about, oh, what does the B how does the BMI affect um, obesity or underweight? And what would be a healthy BMI? We would talk about how much protein you should intake, um, what are some fat diets, stuff like that, but just like in a bingo card and after everyone just has their bingo, then we would talk about it. So yeah, we try to make it fun. We try to have games because we don't want to lecture people. Yeah. We just want people to yeah, know. Yeah, it's hard to get people to be healthy. Exactly, exactly. Got wings. Yeah. yeah. Wings. Oh, Actually, oh, last year in our last meeting, just for fun, we got wings. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like, hey, forget all that stuff we learned. <laughs> wings are better. That's awesome. So how did you? How did this club start, or when did it start? So this club started, let's say, about six years ago. Um, three of my friends started it. So their names are Benjamin, Charles, and Mohammed. Benjamin, he is a personal trainer. So he wanted to do something different. So did Mohammed. Mohammed was a poli sci major, but he was interested yeah. in nutrition. And then Charlie, he he is a nutrition major. So they started it. And our advisor is Hedley Freak from the Nutritional Sciences Department. And so far, um, it's still the same concept. Yeah. We got any questions on Brian? Yeah. Um, no, I I haven't gotten any emails. About the sex club? Yeah. Um, so h how do you like reach out to people? Um, we do, okay, so we have, you know how we have the involvement fair? Yeah. So we do that, and then the people who are interested in sign up, then we send them emails. Yep. And we have also utilized the Daily Digest oh. to like promote our workouts and our meetings. Oh. But that's about it. Um, yes. do you, so do you have like big like public events for the campus to get involved in? Not yet, okay. not yet. Um, we are thinking of going and participating in the Huskython. Oh. Yes. Nice. So I feel like that would be a great way to advertise the club. Oh, yeah, and definitely. we could like wear the shirts or just, you know, be there. And you, and, you and guys then, have the stamina. You, yeah. you guys will probably, <laughs> probably win. Probably dance marathon. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. And um, we also want to go to yoga club because it's a different kind of exercise and then people might be interested in that. And we're planning to give um, like a little orientation to the learning communities in our alumni. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, okay, awesome. So, I mean, I can't really think of like, I try to, whenever I try to work, I usually do just like either high, in inter high interval intensity training, whatever it's called. And then I try to just kind of like eat semi healthy, but are there any like specific things outside of just the obvious like fruits and vegetables that people should eat that like people should be like aiming for when they're at the dining hall? Like some people say cut the carbs, some people say cut whatever fatty foods. There's different apparently different fatty foods. What do you guys usually recommend? Yeah, so diets vary among people. You c there's not a standard diet everyone should follow. 
There are things we, as a, that you as a nutritionist or as a dietitian can recommend. Uh, I don't know if you know about my plate through the government. Oh yeah. Yeah. That so was it's my just a, yeah. <laughs> what was that? That was on my bulletin. That was your bulletin <laughs> board. Okay. Good. Good. So I mean, my plate is a pretty straightforward way to understand how your plate should be distributed and what kind of groups you should be getting. Low carbs um, can work for some people, mainly people who are not that physically active because carbs are a source of energy and then if you don't use it, then it gets stored. And um, so if you were to ask me what things would be the best to get from the dining hall, try to get the leanest things. Let's say for breakfast, just eggs, obviously. Try to avoid anything that's fried, um, fruits and vegetables, which you said like people should know, cereal and um, dairy if you want to. I mean, apparently, according to biology, we're not supposed to be ingesting dairy um, because our body was not made for that. But um, there's calcium in dairy. Also, you can get calcium from leafy greens, which I didn't know, and I recently found out. So definitely getting like all those leafy greens that has a lot of nutrients will definitely be great for your diet. Yeah, and it's just everything about balance. It's not like you're gonna be eating vegetables and fruits all day, because then you're gonna be missing out on the yeah. iron, the protein, and so it's, yeah, it's all about balance. So you can have your dessert. Yeah, as long as you're not like eating, <laughs> as long as you're dessert. not eating every hour. That's all, just that's like all, so, so what you're saying is we can have dessert. And I didn't hear any of that other stuff. But <laughs> did I hear the last part where we can have dessert? That was a bus okay, part, so, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the yeah. show. Oh, really thank you guys. You Thanks for coming on thank the show. You. Thanks. Sex Club. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more. You've got tonight's show.